um, uh, you'll be the first person to play something off my upcoming album. Uh oh. Coming uh -oh. out in uh, October. If you're really nice. It's a debut. No, it's not, yeah, it's a debut. <laughs> right. But only if I'm really nice. <laughs> I really like your shoes today, by the way. Hey, I'll tell you, I love my socks. And then we got Kevin's uh, shoes. I don't know what. We're, we're, it's like he's been hiking or something. Uh, I don't know. Something's going on. Now, uh, we also should be joined here in a few moments, I don't know, our, our co-host for the week, Mr. Nathan from the Joy Cops, but he has not made an appearance yet. But... Uh, David, you 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 you've been hanging around Kansas for a while. What, what what the hell are you doing hanging out in Kansas of all places? I I like Hutchinson. I I really do. I think it's like a hidden gem of a town. <laughs> I do. I like, you guys mock me. You got you got to go to California and tell me. Yeah, you know I really like Kansas. I, I go. <laughs> 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 Well, no, I just think it's cool that you're that you're hanging around. I, I find it odd because there's a lot of artists that come to Kansas and they can't wait to get the hell out. Oh, they don't know what they're missing. And you get here and you're like, you know, I'm going to stay a while. Yeah. I'm going to hang out. Shoot some pool, or, or what was it, ping pong with uh, Sonny Barger yesterday? <laughs> oh, I gotta work on that story. You gotta work on that story. You know what's funny about uh, how that uh, how Sonny Barger is connected to me, which is, of oh, course, here we go. Sonny always, <laughs> there's, there's always right, some right. sort of some sort of thing. Let me see if I can pull this up so I can make sure I get this right. It's like born to be wild. Uh, no, no, born to be wild. Well, not 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 quite that, but uh, uh, Sonny Barger, the, the ex head of the Hell Angels. Yes. Oh, okay. I remember him. Uh, I remember him. <laughs> Um, there was a guy about a year ago who did an interview. His name was Eric Salas, and he did an interview with Sonny Barger. Right. Um, he went to his house. He did this. He did this cool interview, and he he promoted it. And this magazine I was affiliated with promoted it. They were like, "Oh my God, Sonny Barger, Sonny Barger." Well, they've got the opportunity to interview a really good guy, and then. They dropped the ball and only had, uh, they didn't mic him correctly. They didn't. Sonny, <laughs> didn't, are you talking about? Yes, they didn't, yeah. they didn't do anything with Sonny. And so there's 30 minutes of this, what? So I put up a YouTube video explaining how they should have done the interview and showing them how right. to fix the holes in the interview. And uh, they didn't like it too well. And I'm like, well. I, well. I think Sonny got throat cancer, so it's difficult to be difficult to that too. Right? That so, too. So it would be it would be a hard job to mic him. Right? He's an interesting guy. He's got a, a book out that I haven't read. Yeah. With, uh, uh, Bob Dylan was actually quoting from him. Wow. So, you know, Bob Dylan's reading Sonny Barger. How messed up is the world? Bob Dylan reading Sonny Barger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! No. Get a mic over there, Kevin. Yeah, you got to get a mic somewhere, Kevin. No, I can't. Yeah, I'll move over. <laughs> now, uh, now, now, Kevin Sig has also made some headlines the last couple uh, months. Uh, he played uh, Causes for a Cause, uh, and he uh, he did a couple anti-war songs, and. Uh, some people, in, some people in the crowd didn't like it. They didn't really. Yeah, we we got a couple complaints from some people what about. Okay, you said something about don't join the army. Yeah, don't join the army, kids. It's ba it's <laughs> bad or something. And we got a couple complaints from people going, "You don't support the military," and I said, "No, we support the military. Some of our reformers just doesn't." Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change my show now. Pro war. <laughs> Oh my God! I am God. Give me money. Make it work. Holy! 
Exactly. Wow. That's, that's a great idea. <laughs> Connor might be in your band. You never know. <laughs> I am God, give me money. Why did you decide to come up with this? As a vision, came to me, God. Like George Bush taking out Bob Tom Bill of War all the time. So At least it wasn't like Skylo. I was sleeping real down, and all of a sudden, I heard his voice. He had a great band. I'm tossing from a book. Oh, who's here? It was God. I guess it was God. So it Start a band call. I am God, give me money, and you'll make some money. That's how it happened. True story. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> the guy has a deeper voice. Does he? Does he? <laughs> the guy with a deeper voice. I am God. Give yeah. me money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I never felt never why God had a gender, father. You know, why does God need a penis? What do you do with it? <laughs> what do you do with it? Wow. I think if God has a gender, it has to be female. Because yeah. then you don't have to have the whole story about the rib and all that. Because women give birth. What do you do I mean, God doesn't need a gender anyway. Yeah, right. But if you, were to have, if you were to assign one. If you were assigned one, yeah, who, who, would, who would assign him the gender, though? <laughs> Never mind. I love that. We've got uh, David Vidal with us today. Also, Kevin Sig, uh, my buddy Connor Eves with us today. He uh, he was part of Earth to Matilda last night at Causes for a Cause. They, uh, these guys, I'll have to say these Earth to Matilda guys, and this is something that I, I'm, I'm blown away by these guys. They have their own little built-in audience of little teeny bopper teenage girls, <laughs> and they show up everywhere these guys go, and it is absolutely amazing. Uh, never tick off that fan base. <laughs> Oh, what kind of music? It's like rockish. It's electric. I I really am bad at classifying it. It's like <laughs> indie rock. That's what I'm going with. Indie rock. From Indiana. From Indiana. Yeah, Indiana rock. No. It's a joke. Yeah, oh, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's I know. <laughs> 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 Now, uh, now, David Vidal yesterday played at Pizzacos. I did. Did you get a Pizzaco? Did they no, give you a Pizzaco? I had the salad bar. Oh. It was good. When you go to Pizzacos, you got to have a, a Pizzaco. Is it, is it good? I've been meaning to try it. Yeah, yeah. I, was thinking, I was actually thinking about going there before my show yesterday. Yeah, I think I saw you it. unloading, but, yeah. but I, I decided not to because I didn't know when I was going to go up. It's a cool little room, too. It's a nice, it's a nice I think I'm going to play the third Thursday. Oh, are you? Thursday, yeah. Okay. I heard that they have like a nice little stage in there and everything. They do. They just changed. They just they rearranged the interior after my set. I think they, they changed their stuff though. <laughs> they changed the interior after they your did. set. They did. I went and. and <laughs> Holy crap! I went somewhere and came back because I wanted to load my stuff out after you pulled down a little bit. I came back and it was like their, their booths were gone and now they put in a window where they, you know, so. <laughs> so the stage is going to be oriented a little different. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah. a quick change. Yeah. That was, <laughs> really, it, it was, was really quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting bad and blame there about that fuck. The stage. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. She says she's always booked up, booked up. Are you know. just unconvinced? I've got to make money again. I'm tired of playing for pizza. Change. you got to make money. Okay. Years ago, it, it was dead live music here. When I played the boot band every weekend, we had a job. There's a lot of live music here. Out where? Rusty Needle. Well, it depends on what you play. You can play at the Pizzacos. You can play at the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee House. The, the, the Metro. I play at the Metro. They, were, the uh, they sleep there. He, well, Carl would, would have an They don't pay me. Uh, they don't pay nothing. They don't pay, yeah. They like to. Oops. 
Third Thursday. No, but it depends on like if you play for a shop at Third Thursday. There's this uh, one um like boutique place or something. I used to get fifty bucks for playing, and they stopped that. They paid. <laughs> they paid. Um, um, they paid <coughs> Ben Decker, like his band. They they played there and got paid like three hundred fifty bucks what? For playing there at Third Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? I was. Here. I I was the guy. I'm going blue. I'm going blue. I get paid. You play Wichita? Fuck no. You don't? Lawrence? I mean, no. Man. No, I don't, sir. <laughs> Why? <Lions. laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Gee, dang it. Go, go to. Yeah, David uh, David Vidal ought to go play Lions, yeah, Kansas. I, 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 Oh, it's they pay. I'll play it. <laughs> they pay. I'll play that. They got to pay me. I think they get tired of me. Because I won't play for free. Wait, just was all good. They pay me. And I don't know if they're going to pay, you know. But I don't play for free. So there you go. I play for free. You did? Yeah. I just play whenever I can get a show. I do a different fun. Yeah, we'll see. But I need money, too. Yeah, but you guys are like the problem, see? We're the problem? Yeah, you're the problem. You're not really? the solution. <laughs> you're, uh, you're the I'm problem. Sorry. I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> God. You're the problem. Okay, but, yeah, but if everybody comes in and plays for free, then you're going to get a lot of money. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. They fill up the metro, that, man. I mean, that's what you're paying. That's what you're planning for, really. Yeah, and I mean, I still live with my mom, so. Well, that's all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> I, I don't really so, uh, need money at the moment. That right, much money. Right. Well, but that's what, it gets, <laughs> that's what it gets down to because when you get older, you won't live with your mom. Yeah. Or you might. You might. Probably. <laughs> If you need to make a living, like Kevin needs to make a living, you live with your mom? No, my mom's dead. Okay, my mom's dead too. What person? What I did all the time. I did hard times came. No, I know, I know. But so, so you got to as, you get, as, you, as you, you get older, then you got you got to make a living, and it's, you, you got to like you know, so you got to get paid for what you do. Playing music in Kansas. Yeah, you end up at being good. Yeah. Go. You can't play good. Jiggy's working on bringing music here and good luck for it. Uh, thank you, Jiggy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm 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 trying to make sure people get paid. Well there was there was a, there was a lot of music yesterday. yesterday. Jake Brown came in my days, Jake Brown, John Cash was here. James Brown. At the sports arena, yeah. Legend Hall, and they couldn't do all that. Well still have they do the dirt band. band. I mean they had Tech Nine here one of the time. That's the only artist I heard at the sports Who's arena. That? He's a rapper. I don't know. Yes. yes. Interesting. They got places to do it, but they just want to use the village. They're afraid people might have fun. <laughs> it's a biblical town. What church is in the Bible says you're not supposed to have fun. It's called sin. <laughs> <laughs> you can't dance. Wow. You're, dancing. Not allowed. you're reading the wrong Bible. Dancing at one time was banned in McPherson, Kansas. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't dance in the streets in McPherson, Kansas. You had to yeah. get a permit to be able to block off the streets really? and dance. Yeah. Well, block party or whatever. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to dance in the streets in the first of Kansas, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, I just feel like dancing. Was and, that you know, really, like, was that a problem to where they had to ban that? People yeah, just yeah, people were just like, dancing. People like, were coming out of the gas station, you go, oh, huh. <laughs> this is good. Got the groove. <laughs> But can we just play on the streets on not third Thursday, but say we just move downtown since it's on a bench plan, are they gonna get a ticket for playing? I have no idea. Oh, uh, like 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 disturbing the peace or something. Day, disturbing night. the peace. It could be. Don't try it. Just you could you could uh, uh, you could go sit business. on the corner and play for tips. Oh the bench owner. Try that. I wonder. Can you do that, you know? If the bench owner running you off the front, I guess you could ask them. Can't you can't sit on the corner. I don't know if you can sit on the corner. I don't know. I don't know what the law I I don't know if that's uh We're going to get a Facebook page put together for Sixth Monday. <laughs> now, uh, David, you've been you've been tra- you've you've been traveling around the the Kansas area playing. You've been you did the Pizzacos thing yesterday. No, I've just been hanging out. You've just been hanging out. Yeah, it I've seems. been hanging out. I've been working a real job. I hate to disappoint you, Jake. I've been what? Yeah, uh, it's not going to last forever. I like it. I've been getting my hands dirty. And uh, I'm not embarrassed or ashamed of that. It's good, it's good to do real work for and get paid. And work. So yeah, I've been and I've and meanwhile while I've been doing this, What's the name I, of the CD, it's called Infamous. And so and this whole album has kind of been going on because I got yeah. a guy who's producing it in Los Angeles. I got a record company called Uniglobe Records, which is a little label in uh, L.A. And I'm getting you know some uh, stuff lined up, publishing and such so it's funny because I've been kind of laying low in Kansas and uh, things have been happening so I'm gonna have to hook back up with my career here <laughs> hook back up with my career here <laughs> <laughs> well let's do this we're gonna take a time out when we come back we're gonna play um, a little bit of uh, Connor's the curious that. EP I'm not this one. and um, no, we'll talk to him about uh, his solo stuff. He does the Earth and Matilda stuff, but he's also got a solo career. So we'll talk to Connor. We'll play. Uh, if if I'm if I'm good, it, it, it's like Santa. If I'm good, they'll 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 bring me a gift. If I'm good, 
Uh, David Vidal might let us play some of his new music. Uh, it, uh, Kevin Sig is with us, and uh, he's going to play a couple songs. God knows what will happen. <laughs> so we're going to do that when we come back here on the World Famous Cheeky Jake Marks Giving a new meaning to the phrase, going to bed is hard to do. This is the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Network. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners here at Transmedia Worldwide. It's a great Kickstarter project, the 60-Day Challenge. A great music video where you must learn two skills, Spanish and guitar. Then combine them in a music video which make my backers who pledge $5 or more to get full control over. There are 10 voting categories to choose from, and I'm hoping you can come up with the perfect thing uh, to say about this project, and we've got it for you, kids. It is kickstarter.com. Check it out today, K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R.com. Search the 60-Day Challenge Music Video. It is an amazing Kickstarter project. They've got 60 days to learn two skills, Spanish and guitar. And combine them in a music video, which you will have full creative control over. Check it out today. It's Kickstarter.com. They have an amazing group of rewards over there. You need to check it out today. It's Kickstarter.com. Search the 60-Day Challenge music video and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. You work. Never. It is eight. Just two less things. Start in bed. I bet your diet or future. Make that easy to exit. Stay under. Chand. To deck it out. It's a very kickstartable at dot card or dot com. Just a for minimum bit of one pledge or one dot. Back this. You can check. It's probably need to make day by two. Can happen August Tuesday. Let's well happen to make it happen. A for better my future. Dot net. Dot get out of that. Check kickstart day at com or dot kickstarter dickstop dot search. Better if you buy and future. You heard about telling her about it here. Hands me on trail video. Never you work. Hey, just it is thing to let my bed on better dot. Better if you easy to net stand. Makes it check under the den. It's a vacant out kickstart. Not got a bullet. Carter dust. Um, minimum for just of one miller. Pledge back this object. You can need to make prod by two. Then August, we can have it. Let's Tuesday up into 12 from make it have better pay for my hot net future. Get out to kickstart at check up. Day at Better if you and my be heard about future and tell them hands me out of here. World wide. I'll try to work. Uh, never say just you work. Thing it is my bet to let your dot on in bed. We are back. David Vidal is still with us. We're going to be playing Infamous here in a few moments. Some, some, some of the tracks maybe off this. It's a uh, we, we, we have to we have to tread lightly because of these uh, record executives that are out there. And Sonny Barger. Sonny Barger. Sonny Barger happens to be Barger one of I those record know. executives. You know, the Hell's Angels used to have a man. <laughs> Really? Yeah, they really did. <laughs> used to have a manager? Yeah, a management company. <laughs> the, it was actually the Hells Angels because they had to do something with their money. So one of the things they did. Ah, oh, yes. So music management. And oh. uh, Connor with us today from uh, the great Earth to Matilda. He's got a uh, solo project. We're going to be playing some tunes and listening to him uh, play some tunes today. And, uh, of course, Kevin Sig. <laughs> he is... He he's here, <laughs> so it's Hello. always fun with Kevin. <laughs> but um, I am I am fascinated, and and we were talking about this yesterday at David's uh, performance at Bazakos. I just think it's so funny that between between songs, David he doesn't just interact with the audience. He has deep, penetrating conversations with the audience between songs. It's sometimes, fantastic. Sometimes I don't talk to him at all. <laughs> well, that too. I was, I was in a chatty mood. The, uh, the one thing that, that I just don't understand is how in, in Hutchinson, Kansas, you can have a biker gang have their clubhouse on Main Street. 
The Sons of Silence. Are we going to taunt those guys again? No, we're not going to taunt dangerous. them. Yeah. We're not going to taunt them. Who is this calling? Oh, I know who this is. Hey, you're live on the air. Who is this? Yes, it's the dudes from Blacklight District. I had you guys... I had you guys... Uh, oh, just Kyle? That's it? No. It's Kyle and Roman and O'Neal were in the bus. So, you're in the bus. Well, I know. I know you yep. guys are on tour, and you're all over Sirius XM Octane, and all sorts of shenanigans. Uh, we've got David Vidal with us today, Kevin Sig. We've got Connor from Earth to Matilda in studio, and of course the guys from Blacklight District on the line. And you guys have been uh, just lighting up Sirius XM, and uh, people are just loving your music. Tell me about the the process of uh, rock radio embracing you guys. Cool, man. All right, this is Kyle. What's going on? What's going um, on, sir? Yeah, they,